March 24th in the year of our Lord, 2022, the time, 10, 48 a.m. Good morning, YouTube, my beautiful, wonderful, glorious, amazing, fascinating, Holy Spirit filled, I'm fire with the Holy Ghost of God, Bible-believing, God-fearing, heart puzzle, blessed hope, rapture ready, precious, precious. Brothers, sisters, gather around, pull up a chair, let me know what you're going to share with PD as we begin. This Thursday, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice, and I'll be exceedingly glad in it. On this Thursday, let me know what you're going to share with PD. I just got back from a run in Flint, Michigan. I stopped at Tim Horton's A, and I got a cup of coffee. Are you going to share coffee with PD? It's brunch time. It's in between breakfast and lunch. It's brunch. What are you having for brunch? Are you having coffee? What do you put in your coffee? Cream, sugar, you got your coffee black, double, double. Are you having some tea this morning? Orange juice, some OJ. Let me know, don't you know, in the comment section below. Do that now. Oh my goodness, I'm just so grateful. God is good. He's good all of the time. Abba Father, He is such a good God. We serve such a good God. He has spared me from so much. And the devil trying to take me out. But Jesus, Jesus, the name above all names. My, I can't believe that I went in on Valentine's Day, February 14th, for an ileostomy reversal. They sent me home two days later. I looked like I was nine months pregnant with the triplets. My feet were so swollen, they were like clubs. My hands were swollen, like, looked like, um, I don't even know how to explain it, like sausages. And I had to go back to the hospital. And I had what was called ileus, which is common. I believe, after that type of surgery and what they're telling me. And I joined a Facebook group, Ileostomy Reversal, and uh, they put a tube down my nose into my stomach to drain my stomach contents. Then they had to go back in uh, with a colonoscopy scope and get and remove the gases out of my stomach. They repaired a tear while they were in there. And get this, I developed septus again. I went into septic shock again. I coded twice. The second code, I remember, my heart was taking a hit. I went into AFib, and I could hear the nurse saying, we're getting ready to call a code. His heart rate is now 178, 182. Call a code, call the code, call the code. And I'm awake during all this as my heart is crashing. And they come flying. Let me tell you something. They came flying in. Um, got my heart back uh, the way they did the very first time around in 2020. By, by shocking my heart back. They put a tube in my neck with giving me pressers. My wife can tell you what pressers are. I'm not sure. You might know what pressers are. Too, power, too much power uh, to go. The veins aren't big enough in the arms. Uh, it had to be a thick vein, like your jugular vein. And they were putting me on this medication. And uh, I was in ICU, intensive care unit, for about a week. And I recovered. I'm home. My feet were swollen. They're back to normal. God is so good to us. Do you understand? I don't care what you're going through. God is going to see you through. Amen? God is going to see you through. He's never really going to give us more than we can handle. I, I'm just so blessed. I'm so thankful. I'm so grateful to be alive and to continue this ministry. Ministry announcements, no offerings to acknowledge uh, this, this morning, this late morning. Uh, nothing has come into our ministry and outreach to the homeless. 
Give God the glory today. If you find it in your heart to support this channel, if you love this YouTube channel and love Pastor Dave and what we do with our homeless outreach ministry, all the links to how you can give will be in the description box below, right above where you leave your comments. Pray. Pray that this is not World War III. Pray for Ukraine.